Since 2007, Africa has been in an increasingly serious debt crisis. Trump's America and Brexit are two factors that have recently pushed many of these countries into deeper difficulties, exacerbating their existing problems related to reduced market access. Changes in interest rates and currencies also have an impact. A recent World Bank report found that more than half of the world's low-income countries, mostly in Africa, are currently in debt trouble or at risk of doing so. A new report from Debt Justice has shown that many African countries owe three times more to Western banks, oil traders, and asset managers than they do to Chinese lenders. These revelations challenge the long-held belief that many African countries owe more to China. Remember that this is the same excuse that Western leaders have repeatedly used to justify their lack of commitment to restructuring the debt of African countries. In the report seen by Business Insider Africa, Tim Jones, Director of Debt Justice Policy, was quoted as saying, Western leaders blame China for Africa's debt crisis, but it's just a distraction. The truth is that its banks, asset managers, and oil traders are far more responsible but the G7 is letting them off the hook. Below are the 10 most indebted countries in Africa, according to the World Bank and CIA World Factbook, with information on each country's foreign debt. External debt is the sum of public and private debt of non-residents, repaid with goods or services in internationally accepted currencies. The number country occupying the top spot will shock you. Hello and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, welcome to Think Rich Media. Because we do much research and fact, checking to come up with these informative videos, we'd like to be sure you won't miss any of our future uploads. So please be sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications in order to get notified on our future uploads. 10. Malawi, $1.3 billion in debt. Malawi is confronted with a shortage of funds and is burdened by excessive expenses beyond their means. Their deficit is about 1.32 trillion kwachas, which is equal to $1.3 billion, or 8.7% of their total income. The economy of Malawi is worth $7.522 billion, which is the total value of all the goods and services produced in the country. Most of the people in Malawi live in rural areas and depend on farming for their livelihood. This country in the middle of Africa has no coastline and is not very developed compared to other countries in the world. In 2017, agriculture made up about one-third of the country's total economic output and around 80% of the money earned from selling goods to other countries. The economy depends on receiving substantial funds from entities such as the IMF, the World Bank, and countries providing financial assistance. The government has many difficult tasks ahead. They need to increase the number of products being sold to other countries, make schools and healthcare better, solve issues with forests being cut down and land being damaged, and handle the issue of HIV and AIDS in Africa. In terms of development, Malawi is identified by the United Nations as the country with the lowest level of advancement. The Southern African country, which depends on donations, is seeking to restructure its debt in an effort to secure additional funds from the International Monetary Fund. This money was approved in November. Malawi's finance minister said on Tuesday that he is very hopeful that the country's $1. By the end of this year, Malawi aims to restructure its $2 billion debt to other countries, with hopes of being eligible to borrow funds from the International Monetary Fund once more. 9. Zambia, $8 billion in debt In 2011, Zambia, a developing nation, attained middle-income classification. Zambia's economy grew at one of the quickest rates in Africa during the first 10 years of the 21st century, with its capital, Lusaka, becoming the fastest-growing city in the Southern African Development Community, as ADC. The economy of Zambia has stagnated in recent years as a result of energy problems, large budget deficits, and falling copper prices. Anticipated in 2020, Zambia was to be the first African nation to fall behind on its debt during the COVID-19 era, acting as a test case for the G20's Common Framework Program, which was formed throughout the pandemic to facilitate debt restructurings. However, the painfully slow pace of the negotiations has caused the external debt to increase to $18.6 billion. According to the Central Bank of Zambia, the country's currency, the Kwaka,
has fallen more than 10% against the dollar this year, which has increased inflation. Delays in debt restructuring were one of the reasons given for the decrease. Zambia owed $8 billion to bilateral creditors at the end of 2021, according to the most recent IMF debt sustainability study, despite the fact that the debt designated for revision was at $6.3 billion. Where the discrepancy originated was unknown. 8. Tanzania $11.18 billion in debt Tanzania's external debt rose from $16 billion in December 2016 to $1.7 billion in January. Tanzania's external debt reached an all-time high of $1.74 billion in January 2017 after maintaining an average of $1.2 billion from 2011 to 2017. It reached a low of $2.4 billion in December of 2011. Tanzania has always benefited from foreign direct investment due to its political stability. The government has made a commitment to enhance the investment environment, which includes lowering red tape, rewriting tax laws, floating currency rates, and establishing an investment promotion center. Its economy is currently run under the Mini Tiger Plan for Tanzania. Tanzania has mineral resources and a largely untapped tourism sector, which might make it a viable market for foreign investment. However, the country falls in line as one of the most indebted African nations to the Western world and China. According to Statistica.com, the national debt was predicted to rise steadily by a total of $15.7 billion between 2023 and 2028. The national debt is predicted to reach $49.52 billion after growing for 10 years in a row, setting a new record in 2028. 7. Ghana $11236 billion in debt. With a governmental debt of $26 billion in 2015, Ghana is one of the most indebted nations in Africa. Since 2014, it has increased by $1.1 billion. The debt as a percentage of GDP in Ghana was 70.82% in 2015, down 1.33% from 72.15% in 2014. Since 2005, when it reached $8.3 billion and reached 47.99% of GDP, Ghana's national debt has been increasing. In 2015, the nation's per capita debt was $974 per person. The debt per resident was $39 in 2005. By 2014, that figure had increased by $66. Ghana's standing increased in terms of GDP percent in 2015. Ghana is experiencing its greatest economic crisis in a generation, with debt payments accounting for more than 40% of government income last year. It became the fourth nation to seek a revision under the G20 Common Framework in January. The West African nation reached a $3 billion agreement with the IMF in December, but in order to complete the deal, it still needs financing guarantees from bilateral lenders. By the end of 2023, the public debt of the nation is expected to have decreased to 87% of GDP, according to projections made by the international rating agency Fitch. This is from the 2022 data, which showed an 89% record. 6. Sudan $39.70 billion in debt Sudan's external debt decreased from $77.2 billion to $62.4 billion at the end of 2021. Up until the second half of 2002, the economy of Sudan had flourished due to rising oil prices, rising oil production, and significant FDI inflows. The GDP grew by more than 10% annually in 2006 and 2007. As of 2019, Sudan's GDP has increased by $30 billion since 1997. The country has been collaborating with the IMF to execute macroeconomic changes, such as a controlled exchange rate float. Sudan's debt has been on the rise since 2005 in global debt terms, when it was $252 billion, although it had fallen as a percentage of GDP when it amounted to 94.95%. 5. Egypt $48,760 billion in debt After reaching $60 billion at the end of the third quarter of 2016, 
Egypt's external debt increased to $6.7 billion in the fourth quarter of that year. From 1997 to 2016, Egypt's average external debt was $33 billion. In the first quarter of 2001, the debt reached a low of $26 billion. A portion of the nation's overall debt to creditors abroad is represented by its external debt. Cairo agreed to a flexible currency, a greater role for the private sector, and numerous monetary and fiscal reforms in exchange for a fresh $3 billion INF package in December 2022. Economic activity has been hindered by import and currency restrictions, and despite three major devaluations that have reduced the value of the pound to half since March 2022, there is still a shortage of foreign currency. Right now, inflation is over 30%, which is a five-year high. 4. Angola $52.06 billion in debt Angola's external debt dropped from $52 billion in 2022 to $50 billion in 2023. From 2002 to 2023, Angola's external debt averaged $28 billion. It peaked in 2022 at $52 billion and fell to a record low of $7 billion in 2006. Angola's economy grew at one of the fastest rates in the world in the first 10 years of the 21st century, with an average annual GDP growth of 11.1% between 2001 and 2010. During that period, there was significant economic growth despite high inequality due to rising oil production and high international oil prices. However, over the last 10 years, corruption has installed as rife throughout the economy and the country remains heavily dependent on the oil sector, which in 2017 accounted for over 90% of exports by value and 64% of government revenue. With the end of the oil boom, from 2015, Angola entered into a period of economic contraction. In 2022, Angola had a government debt to gross domestic product ratio of 56.10%. Angola's government debt to GDP is predicted by trading economics, global macro models, and analysts to be 78% of GDP by the end of 2023. 3. Tunisia $55.69 billion US dollars in debt. The travel related a severe crisis plaguing the North African economy has led to a shortage of basic food supplies. The president of Tunisia's failure to make significant progress on reforms has resulted in the blocking of a 1.9 billion IMF loan for months. It was projected by Statistica.com that Tunisia's national debt would rise steadily by $16.5 billion between 2023 and 2028. After many years of strong state intervention and direction, Tunisia's economy is currently undergoing liberalization. Moderate but sustained growth has been the outcome of prudent fiscal and economic planning for more than 10 years. Historically, the production of automobile parts, phosphates, oil, agri-food products, and tourism have all been essential to Tunisia's economic growth. In the World Economic Forum Global Competitiveness Report for 2015 to 2016, Tunisia ranks in 92nd place. The national debt is predicted to hit a new peak in 2028, valued at 55.69 billion US dollars, following a 10 years of annual increases. The per capita debt of Tunisia was $2,157 in 2015. The debt per person was $1,687 in 2005, and it increased by $75 to $2,232 in 2014. In terms of GDP percentage, Tunisia's standing in relation to the rest of the globe has improved in 2015. The public debt of Tunisia was $24 billion in 2015, up $2.6 billion from the previous year. In 2015, debt accounted for 55.71% of Tunisia's GDP, a 4.15 percentage point increase over 51.56% of GDP in 2014. Since 2005, the debt has been growing and is the fourth most indebted African countries. 2. Nigeria $56.33 billion in debt. Africa's largest economy is that of Nigeria. In 2013, the nation's re-emergent manufacturing sector grew to be the biggest on the continent, producing a sizable amount of goods and services for the West African region.
The IMF estimates that Nigeria's debt-to-GDP ratio stood at 36.63% in 2021. Nigeria's internal debt increased to $11 billion during the 2016 fourth quarter. In Q3 of 2016, the amount was $11.89 billion. Between 2008 and 2016, it averaged $6.9 billion. In the fourth quarter of that year, it reached its highest point at $11.4 billion, and in the first few months of 2009, it dropped to $3.6 billion. There is a persistent power supply crisis that affects Nigeria's economy. Despite having some of the largest coal, oil, and gas deposits in the world, a rapidly expanding economy, and the distinction of being Africa's top oil producer, the country's citizens regularly face power supply issues. After a loan-to-bond swap and fresh borrowings to finance the 2023 budget, Nigeria's total public debt could increase to 77 trillion naira, or $172 billion, over the course of the next three years from $56.33 billion as of September 2022. Following concerns raised by some senators, the Senate postponed its decision last week on the President's request to convert $53 billion in temporary loans from the central bank to the government into 40-year bonds. 1. Morocco – $91.1 billion in debt Morocco's economy is regarded as being largely liberal and subject to supply and demand. Morocco has pursued a policy of privatization of some formerly government-controlled economic sectors since 1993, in keeping with numerous changes in the West. Morocco, which has grown to be a significant force in African economic affairs, has the continent's fifth-largest GDP. Morocco's external debt decreased from 64.1 USD billion in the prior quarter to 63.1 USD billion in September 2022. Between 2006 and 2016, Morocco's external debt averaged $27 billion. It peaked in the third quarter of 2016 at $46 billion and fell to a record low of $15.91 billion in the first quarter of 2007. According to recent reports, as of December 2022, Morocco's national government debt amounted to $91.1 billion. In March 2023, the nominal GDP of the nation was $33.8 billion. By collecting taxes, being transparent, and using local currency debt markets, Africa's debt can be reduced. The continent's big borrowers shouldn't pass up these opportunities. However, this is only effective if the systems established are directed by sound political and governmental practices, which are both invaluable in Africa given the caliber of the region's leaders. We're almost done with this video. Does your nation appear on this list? To ensure that you don't miss any of our videos, please make sure to enable post notifications. Additionally, feel free to share your opinions about these indebted nations in the comment section below. The best response will be pinned.